up now to some extent. There's further rain to come this evening through the channel and also a curve that you see through Northern Ireland and through Scotland. But for many places, the cloud is breaking up. And it's going to be a dry evening and a dry night. So those are two little disturbances behind the main frontal band. Then we've got a, a couple of hours of rest and the next system's on its way during tomorrow. As it comes in, the isobar will tighten once again so it's going to be rather more windy tomorrow than it has been today. As a reminder, about an hour ago, if we put the rain on there, there's a curl in the south. So it's thunder reported in the eastern channel just recently. Rather less coherent rain curling over Scotland. That'll tend to move up through Grampian region and later in towards the Northern Isles. And the heaviest of this rain is probably going to be the south of London through Kent and through East Sussex. And by the end of the night, much of the rain will have disappeared. We'll still see a few showers running into the west of Wales and more especially the western part of Scotland. But in land, it'll be dry and therefore degrees will be quite typical for much of northern England and Scotland. That will allow a few icy patches, not as bad as they were this morning, and a little bit of frost in the glens of Scotland, but in the south and in the west, relatively mild. Now throughout tomorrow then, as the isobars tighten, another belt of rain comes in throughout the morning into the west, and then sweeping across the whole country through the day. It leaves a bit of brightness in the west once again by evening, a fairly mobile flow at the moment. Tuesday starts then with sunshine in the clear east of Scotland and eastern England, quite prolonged spells. Then as the wind picks up from the west, from the south, which is probably there, will bring rain from Northern Ireland to Wales, and to southwest England, I think, by about lunchtime. Throughout the rest of the day, it'll keep moving eastward, and we'll see a couple of hours of brighter weather return to the southwest of England, to Wales, with one or two showers. At the same time, the wind will swing from that southerly gale more to a westerly gale, so a windy day tomorrow. Mind you, that direction is mild, so 8, 9, 10, or 11, not, again, atypical temperatures if you compare them today. But for February, that's very mild. Now on Wednesday, it's still quite blustery, it's still a westerly, it's still, it's still mild, but it's going to be showery. Most of the showers probably in the east during the morning, but more generally they'll be in the west, and particularly the northwest later on on Wednesday. And on Thursday, 